Your CRM tool has to be more than a tool that just holds names for you. It needs to help you make decisions. But if you don't know what decisions to make, if you don't know what questions to ask, then your tool can't serve you very well. Hey, it's Al Zay Calhoun with Covenant Consultant. Let's talk about one thing you can do to simplify your CRM tool. As consultants, con coaches, and, and advisors, we're all using some version of a CRM tool. We serve people. We need to store those names of who those people are. And we're normally caught in between two extremes, the simple extreme of a Google sheet or, a, or an Excel spreadsheet or the complex extreme of the latest B2B uh, SaaS platform that's, that, that's been developed. And it can be a, a real mess. The main point here is though, it's not the tool you use, but it's how you think about the tool that gives the tool more leverage. Let me offer you a short framework to show you what I mean. Who are you supposed to reach out to today? There are people that you need to contact. Who are those people? What upcoming call should you prepare for? Having an upcoming conversation is good, but are you prepared to dialogue? Do you know who that person is? Do you know what they may need? Is there any research you should do in advance? Is there anything you should prepare before the call? What are the things, who are the, thing, who are the people, and then what are the things you should have in order to be, to be best prepared for the call? If you have a new client, are you prepared to begin onboarding? One of the classic mistakes we make as consultants is we have energy with the client. The client pays, the client is, pre is prepared to get started. And then we go, okay, we'll talk next week. And so you spend seven dead days while your client is waiting for the next thing to occur. Do you know exactly what to do when it's time to start work with your client? If you have a retainer client, someone paying a monthly fee, Do you know how to keep serving them? One of the classic mistakes, mistakes we make as consultants is we forget about our old standard clients. We assume that they're good. They'll be fine. And so we slowly and slowly talk to them less. We slowly and slowly underserve them. And one day they turn around and say, this, this isn't working for me. And we're all shocked. You need to know the status of your retainer clients. They are your very best relationship. You should be serving them deeper and deeper as time goes on. Is anything in your business breaking? Is there a process that isn't working? Is there a system that has shut down? Do you have any way of even knowing what's happening inside your business? Or are you trying to remember everything? Your CRM tool has to be more than a tool that just holds names for you. It needs to help you make decisions. But if you don't know what decisions to make, if you don't know what questions to ask, then your tool can't serve you very well. So let me give you an example of what we've been designing inside of Covenant Consultant. So I'm showing you my screen now, and what you're seeing here in this tool that, that we've developed is a dashboard. Everything starts with the dashboard, and the dashboard has the important questions in front of it. Who should you contact today? By the way, this is all test data, so you can see everything here and get a sense of what it feels like. Who, who should you contact today? What are the next five people that need to hear from you? If you have an upcoming conversation, who are those people? Where did they come from? And what, and what data should you know about them so you can be most prepared? Has someone paid? If someone has it, then it's time to move that person into onboarding so, so your, your service maintains its momentum. If, they, if you have a retainer client, you should see who those people are all the time so you know what next thing you should offer them. If your services are breaking down in some way, you need some sort of dashboard that tells you that things need your attention. And so in this situation, the, the red are things you, you, sh you should check on. The yellows are things that, that, that have a decent or okay status. The point here is that you're the business owner. It's your job to be aware of the most important things. But you can't remember all of those details. You need systems, process, infrastructure, dashboards to help remind you of what's important so you can take the next appropriate action. If you like this kind of simplified, focused thinking, there's another video on this screen that you can watch right now. I bet you'll like that one too. My name is Alzay Calhoun, and thank you so much for your time.